The Magic Treehouse by Mary Pope Osborne. The first book, Dinosaurs Before Dark. We are on chapter nine. The Amazing Ride. The Pteranodon coasted down to the ground. He stared at Jack with his bright alert eyes. What was Jack supposed to do? Climb on? But I'm too heavy, thought Jack. Jack looked at the Tyrannosaurus. It was it was start, staring up the starting up the hill. Its giant teeth were flashing in the sunlight. Okay, thought Jack. Don't think. Just do it. Jack put the book in his backpack. Then he climbed onto the Pteranodon's back. He held on tightly. The creature moved forward. He spread his wings and lifted off the ground. Jack nearly fell off as they teetered his way and his way and, and that. And Pteranodon steadied himself and rose into the sky. Jack looked down. The Tyrannosaurus was staring up at him and chomping the air. The Pteranodon glided away. He sailed over the hilltop and over the valley. He circled above all the duck-billed dinosaurs and all the nest filled with babies. Then the Pteranodon soared out over the plain, over the Triceratops, who was grazing into the high grass. Jack felt like a bird. The wind was rushing through his hair. The air smelled sweet and fresh. The Pteranodon saved him. My goodness. Jack whooped and laughed. He couldn't believe it. He was riding on the back of an ancient flying reptile. The Pteranodon sailed over the stream and over the ferns and bushes. Then he carried Jack to the base of the oak tree. When they came to a stop, Jack slid off the creature's back and landed on the ground. The Pteranodon took off again and glided into the sky. Bye, Henry, called Jack. Jack, Jack, are you okay? Annie shouted from the treehouse. She went back up, you remember? Jack pushed his glasses into place. He kept staring at the Pteranodon. Jack, Annie called. Jack looked up at Annie. He smiled. Thanks for saving my life, he said. That was really fun. Thank Henry, not me, said Annie. Come on, climb up. Jack tried to stand. His legs were wobbly. He felt a bit dizzy. Hurry, shouted Annie. It's coming. Jack looked around. The Tyrannosaurus was heading straight toward him. Jack bolted to the ladder. He started climbing. Hurry, hurry, screamed Annie. Jack reached the top and scrambled into the treehouse. It's coming toward the tree, Annie cried. The dinosaur slammed against the oak tree, and the treehouse shook like a leaf in the wind. Jack and Annie tumbled into the books. Make a wish to go home, cried Annie. We need the book, the Pennsylvania book, said Jack. Where is it? They both searched madly around the treehouse. Found it, said Jack. He grabbed the book and flipped through the pages. He found the photograph of the Frog Creek Woods. Jack pointed to the picture in the book. I wish we could go home, he shouted. The wind began to blow. Jack closed his eyes. He held on tightly to Annie. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything went still. Absolutely still. I wonder if they're back home or if they're in another part of the dinosaurs or if they're somewhere else. We'll find out tomorrow where they ended up.